A couple of days ago, we had a new dog um, that was surrendered over to us. Uh, her name is also Luna, so we have two Lunas now, um, both purebred Siberian Huskies. <laughs> It's always a hard time um, when we get new surrenders because first we have families that are so attached to this dog and they have to surrender because they realize that maybe their lifestyle or you know schedule doesn't isn't really compatible with the dog's needs and it, that's always a hard part to be um, you know part of and and witness that because you just feel so heartbroken. Yes, Dina. I, Hi, how are you? <laughs> wife, Norma. And Norma, how are uh, you? Brett, the whole crew. Hey, Fernando, thank you. So she was like, I need someone to take care of my dogs. I said, well, okay, bring them over. My wife had Huskies in the past. Yeah. Um, so I was like, bring them over. Uh, we did everything we could to keep them happy. And we thought we were doing a good job. So last Sunday, I was out cleaning the garage and I had them in, in a rope and they just disappeared. That's okay. Sit, 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 sit. With Luna, what we are going to do, and um, we put each dog through a series of different exercises. One thing we can't teach, and I'm going to stress this, because one thing we cannot teach a sled dog is the drive and passion to want to run. They have to have that drive, that, that passion. And it's funny because we get some people that bring their dogs and are like, this dog is psychotic, super crazy. But then we realize that they're not as high strung as our sled dogs. And they realize like, oh, maybe I'm just, <laughs> maybe I'm a house dog after all. I just need a more active lifestyle. We have a series of different exercises we're gonna do with Luna. Uh, we have a few secrets on how to get our dogs going and what we can do to sort of help them out along the way. But if you were willing to share, we'll show you. Um, <laughs> we basically gonna work on her art of pulling. And they're basically little tests that we do to see if she has that intention to want to pull. hook on um, two, two, uh, two lead dogs and then two wheel dogs. So I'm going to have Luna teamed up with some of our veteran retired, she's excited again, with our veteran retired dogs so that they're kind of easier into it and show her how it's done. And it was awesome because at first she was like, well, what are we doing? <laughs> what, what, what are we doing out here? But with Thunder helping her out, she was able to really learn from him and kind of go with the flow. And she did pull. She has some tug. Um, we're just going to have to work on her fitness because she's a little house dog-ish right now. We have Luna here again, this time with a longer team. So she did well a few times uh, with shorter teams. So now it's time to add her to the bigger teams. And we mainly do that so she's not uh, getting scared of bigger teams. Because if we were just to put her on a big team right away, right off the bat, I feel like that would traumatize her. All the noise and the chaos of it would just 
just scare her, and then she'd be turned off from dog sledding altogether. So um, she's doing really well. She's ran a 5K, right? And so we'll probably cap it off there at 5K. I'm gonna put her back in the dog yard, and then uh, we'll revisit this in, uh, in two days. Again, another 5K. We wanted to share sort of what we do with these dogs, and we can only take in so much. We have we currently have a wait list that's you know 20 dogs deep or so, and we really try to see which ones we can take and work with. Um, some cases are more severe than others, and so we really try to take those worst case scenarios and see if we can really work with them first, give them top priority, and then um, just we do the best we can. But our biggest focus is we wanted to give you guys sort of an insight what we do and how we kind of work with these guys to eventually become sled dogs or find a different active lifestyle.